who rules. The one who overrules in the affairs of men. Let's appreciate him tonight. Let's thank him for Upsurge 2022. Rest place, you are a marvelously helped people. So let's hear the sound of your voice in appreciation to the God of all flesh. We come tonight, Father, with grateful hearts. We come tonight, almighty God, to appreciate you, to thank you for who you are in our lives. Thank you for CGMI. Thank you for the rest place. Thank you, oh God, for your servant in this house and his co-ministers. Thank you for Upsurge 2022. It is because you are set to take us to the level, another level that you, by your power, has designed for us. And this weekend, as we take on the family aspect of this program, we trust, Father, that you will breathe upon us a fresh breath, oh God, to showcase your glory. I ask tonight, my Father, that you will stretch your hand of grace upon every man and every woman, every child, every boy and every girl. Show yourself strong, Almighty. Do what only you can do. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Let somebody shout a louder amen. Please be seated for a few minutes. We'll be rising up not too long from now to do what we must do. Hallelujah. I want to begin by saying a very big thank you to my father who has made it possible again to be with you at the Rest Place CJMI for Turquoise. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I want to thank also our lead pastor and his darling wife, Reverend Tari and Regina Ekio. You can do better than that. <laughs> pastor Tari, do they sell clap and applause in Port Harcourt? <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to say a very big thank you to the planning committee and the cream of ministers in the rest place. And I want to say a very big thank you to my husband who has graciously allowed me to be a part of this program. You know, when Pastor Tari mentioned it, I said, wow, the rest place is a people of power. And it goes, not quite the people of power. It's not about power. It's about relationship. And I quite understand that. So thank you, Pastor Tari, for the vote of confidence. <laughs> While we were rounding up the prayers, my beloved sister walked in. Please celebrate with me, <laughs> Reverend Mrs. Happiness Ihueze. I celebrate you, my sister. Thank you for coming to stand by me. Hallelujah. This evening, before I open to share with you what I want to share with you, I'd like for us to rise up in prayer. We're talking about family this weekend. Please rise up with me. Rise up with me because we need to make declarations. Rise up with me because our Father God said to open our mouths wide that he will fill it. Rise up with me because you and I serve a prayer answering God. Rise up with me and let us begin to do a thing that we will declare by our mouths to see God do in 2022. Graciously, our mother, the Archbishop, has declared that 2022 is our year to focus on Christ. For what? For anointing, for increase. So there's an upsurge already in the house. Because I understand that since Monday, am I right? You've been gathered here. Oh, since Sunday, right? Yes, since Sunday you have been here. Because there's an upsurge coming. It will not be by the talk. It will be by the experiencing of it. In the name of Jesus. So there are some three prayer points I just want us to take before we look into scriptures tonight. And the first one, you see, 
there's what you call the GPS, right? Many of us use it, yeah? All right. Now, God has assigned to you and I the human GPSs. The truth is, whatever you are desiring now, someone probably has gone ahead of you for it. It's easier. I mean, today, as I came from the hotel, thank you so much, my host. They've been suffocating me with love, but I'm surviving, as you can see. So, I mean, the quick few men trued me, and Pastor Tari talked to me. When I got into my hotel room, no, let's talk, let, let's talk about that later. Now, let's pray. We're going to be praying for the human GPS that God has assigned for your family. And when I say for your family, by extension, everyone that is connected to you, everyone that is connected to you. In Numbers chapter 10, Moses came to Hobab and said, Hobab, you need to follow us. And Hobab says, no. He said, no, you need to follow us. Because you are the human GPS that God has assigned. That thing that you have been trusting God for in your family. There's someone already assigned and we're going to be saying, Father, bring them to me. Bring them to me because I really do not know where they are. Remember the story about how that they wanted taxes and they were asking Peter. Recently in our church, we were estranged that and we discovered that Jesus told Peter, see, guess what? So that they won't be quarrel, you go ahead. Go to that river. Which river I beg? Which river? There are so many rivers. Which one? Jesus didn't quite clearly say, or the Bible didn't record which river to go. And what God was telling us there was that you really, okay, we're talking about Hobab, which we're going to be praying for, but do you know them? No. We're going to be asking, Father, that Hobab that you have assigned to my family, to my life, to show the way to the upsurge that you have prepared for me, release them tonight. Please open your mouth, church. We need to do their declaration. The whole bab that God has assigned to your life and by extension to your family. We are releasing them tonight. And they will locate you. Lama kozon deli baba koshonte. Just in case you're not sure how you should do that prayer, you can engage the Holy Spirit. He knows where the Hobab is. He knows where you are at at this point in time. He knows what that need is. You had promised us of such a lima Father, we begin to release upon every family represented here tonight uh, that whole Baba, that human GPS, uh, the ones who knows the path to take uh, to get into the middle of our upsurge, uh, the middle of our increase. Uh, Lord, we receive them tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. They will not only be willing, they will take the lead to take us to the place of upsurge. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Secondly, in Isaiah chapter 45. Can media help us with that? Can you help us with Isaiah 45? All right, why they are at it? I'll just give you a background so you know how to go about the prayers. Yeah? In verse 13, the Bible specifically stated, and it said, I will send you a Cyrus. I will say, you know what thrills me about this theme of this year is the fact that it is God himself that has set, he has decided by himself for himself to grant us increase. But by the reason of this program that I've been planned for you and I is opening our eyes Hallelujah. to see how to go about it. Yes, yes, so the Cyrus is, 
He says, I have raised him up in righteousness, and I will direct all his ways. He shall build my city, and he shall let go my captives, not for price. That's where my interest is. Not for price, nor reward. The Cyrus that God has assigned to your life and my life is that individual who will not be comfortable until you are comforted. Ah. Hey! Did somebody hear me? That person who will not be comfortable until your own surge is a reality. So we're praying tonight, Father, thank you for releasing my Cyrus. Thank you for releasing the Cyrus for my family. Thank you, Lord. And guess what? When the Lord has released your Cyrus, he will also show you the Cyrus of whom you are. Yes. So it's a two-way thing. Whereas you were the one looking for a Cyrus, the upsurge part of that of that prayer is that you become a Cyrus to other people. Can somebody pray tonight? Can somebody pray tonight? Can somebody pray tonight? Those who will not be comfortable until you are comforted. They have just done something marvelous in your eyes. And while you are saying thank you, another one has already landed. And you get to the place of an upsurge. You now become a Cyrus to somebody else. That's the way it works. Limama kojondoli, magala baba koko shonte keli baba, mara baba koshonte, limama koro baba kushen keli ba. Father, thank you for the release of the Cyruses tonight. Limaga zendali, mara baba koko shonto kolo baba. Le mama hose keliba, awali baba kibo sote keliba. Le mama koro baba koko shen keli ba. Attended interviews before, yeah. Many times you go, they interview you. Then the committee or whatever panel puts up their, their marks, whatever. Are you usually there? Is the person, is the candidate usually there? No. Okay, consider someone that's been considered for the position of a very high-ranking position. Are you usually there? No. Do they call you to ask, Pastor Tari, you know more of these things. Do they usually call the people to say, how far? No. You're not there. Mm. The truth of the matter is, when our matters are being discussed... Matters that pertains to the redefinition of destinies. We are not there. You need a Gamaliel. The Gamaliel voice is the voice of favor. The one that speaks favorably on your behalf. Glory. When King David woke up one day and decided to favor anyone, who remains in the house of Saul? Somebody came. He asked the question, is there any? Is there any in the family of Saul? And Ziba came and said, truly there is one. But he is in Lodeba. Our prayer tonight is this. When my matter, the matter of my family, comes before those who matters. Let the voice of favor, the voice of my Gamalia be the loudest. Yes. Do you want to pray that prayer tonight? Open your mouth and pray. Da, 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 da. Father, thank you for the Gamalia that you've sent to my life and to my family. And by extension, anyone who is related with me, everyone who has my concerns, Father, thank you, because when our matter comes before those who matters, Lema koshon toli baba, marababa koshon deli makali ama kozondolo. That matter that is being discussed at the moment. <laughs> when my matter comes before those who matters, let the voice of my Gamaliel be the loudest. Pray this prayer with passion. Because it was the answer that was given to King Ahasuerus concerning Mordecai that turned the tide for Mordecai. La mako sonte li mama. Makaraba bakoko shonte. Li mama kogo li baba koko sonte. Le mama kogo jonde geli baba koro. Makase li ba. Moria bako jenda li makasele. 
Mara, Baba Koko Shantikele, let the voice of favor, let the voice of our Gamaliels be the loudest, Almighty Father. Le baba ko shante ke li baba. Le ba le ba ko zonde li baba. Make a shante ke li baba kaka shake le. We are in Acts chapter five at this moment. Le mama ko zonde li baba kebo shante ke li baba. Le mama ko ko shante ke. The voice of favor. The voice of our Gamaliel. Le baba ko bo zonde li. This ostrich. We reach you and we reach your entire household. The voice of favor. The voice of favor. The voice of favor that will redefine our destinies. The voice of favor that will release grace for increase. Grace for upsurge. Grace, grace, grace. In the name of Jesus. Le ma ko jonde li baba ke bo sonte Le ma ko jonde li baba ma ko shonte ke li baba ko ko senke Le ma ma ko ko senke Le ma ko jonde li baba fo Le ma ko jonde li baba Le ma ko ko sonte ke li baba ko ko shonte Li ma ma ko ro bo ko jenge li ba ma ko shonte ke li ba mo ro bo ko jenge li ya mo ko ko senke li baba ko ko shenke li ba mo ko ko Sekeli baba, le baba koko shenke, ni mama kujonde li baba koko sekeli baba, ma koshenke li baba, mari baba koko shenke li baba, le mama koko shenke li ba. Thank you Jesus, thank you, thank you Almighty Father, thank you Almighty Father, thank you. Prayer answering God, we are grateful. Before we take our seats tonight, please open with me to Proverbs chapter 18. Proverbs chapter 18. The Bible says, Oh God, you answer prayers. That's why all flesh will come to you. Hallelujah. There's a prayer we must pray before we sit tonight. Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 14. The Bible says, The spirit of a man we sustain his infirmity. But when that spirit is wounded, <laughs> when that spirit is wounded, let's see the New Living Translation. Tonight we are lifting up wounded spirits. Hallelujah. The upsurge that you and I are trusting God for can only be sustained by his spirit on the inside of us. That's right. So whatever seeks to crush our spirit, tonight, we are flipping it over. <laughs> the human spirit can endure a sick body, but who can bear a crushed spirit? You and I cannot afford to allow our spirits to be crushed. No. So we're praying tonight, Father. We are lifting every crushed spirit. Every spirit that by reason of experience that they have had have been crushed. Tonight, there is an upsurge to lift to that crushing. Please, church, join me in prayers today. Engage the spirit of God because you truly might not know. There are crushed spirits. Not necessarily in our midst, but you see, you cannot tell. Because there's so much that these clothings cover. But tonight, by the reason of being a part of this of such program, we are saying, Father, thank you for flipping. Thank you for flipping it. Thank you for flipping it. Thank you. Makali baba koshon tokolo babo. Liyama mako zonde liyama. Makaraba bako koshon teke li baba. There is an upsurge for the flipping. Le bako koshon teke li baba keli ababa. Moro boku jenga liyama babo hebo sonte. 
Liba ba koko shente ke liba ba koro bobo, meke liba ba koko shente ke liya ba ba hebo sonto, le ma koko ke liba ba, mari ba ba koko shente ke liba ba. Thank you for the lifting up of bodies, O God. Le ba ba koko shente ke liba. Since Sunday, Lord, you have fed us. La ma koko shente ke liba ba. We enter into an upsurge in our families, O God. We enter into an upsurge of grace and of such of favor and of such a God of your enabling power that all that we do there will be an increase in the name of Jesus Amen in the name of Jesus Amen in the precious name of Jesus Amen please give the Lord a big 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 hand of victory as you take your seats Hallelujah. Thank you for standing in the gap tonight. You and I will testify for standing in the gap tonight. Amen. Is it okay to call it a family weekend? <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, as I made my way here, I looked at the word family and I realized, like someone did point out some days back that I said that, that when you have a friend, if you spell the word friend, it ends with E-N-D. Am I right? Whether it's a girlfriend, boyfriend, friend, friend, forever friend, it ends with E-N-D. But the family ends with I-L-Y. Do I have a scholar in the house to tell me what I am? I love you forever. I'm glad to announce to you that because you and I belong to the biggest family in the whole wide world, of such is truly our portion. Hallelujah. Right from Genesis to Revelation, the family has always been God's idea. So don't wonder too much why the enemy is after the family. Because he would always want to prove a point. But every point he has ever attempted to prove is a pointless point. Because like I told my beloved sister as we made our way from the airport today, God has the last card. Can you please wave it at me? Because you're a child of God. Tell somebody, God has the last card. Uh, say it like you have played. That is why, as you sit down there, I am trusting the Holy Spirit to interpret my words to you. The one he has put in my mouth. As you sit down there, I need you to realize, if God chose to put you in that family, just know that you are his anointed for that family. Sadly, though, as pastors, Pastor Tari, when you hear some people talk about their families, you look again and you wonder. But thank God that such people are, those people are not in uh, the right place. They are not. You are nigh. Tonight, God is saying you are my anointed in that family. I put you there. It was not your choice. Because it was my choice, what it takes to bring that family to the place of upsurge for the world to know. I've put on the inside of you. Hallelujah. He says, whose hand, right hand I have holding to subdue nations before him and I will lose the loins of kings. We are talking about upsurge. God says tonight that part of his strategy to bring your family to the place of upsurge is loosening the loins of kings. In other words, you know we pray the prayer as a preamble. That when your matter comes before those who matters. One of the ways that God has chosen to loosen the loins of kings is to make the voice of favor to be the loudest on your behalf. <laughs> to be the loudest on your behalf. So I want to beg someone tonight. I want to beg you. Be mindful what your pronouncements are, especially consigning you and your family. Because God has a master plan. 
The thing is, he opens them one day at a time. And mother says something so wonderfully. Oh, how I thank God for her life. Thank you, mother, for praying for us, for praying for me. She says something so profound. I hope you heard it and you heard it well. That as we focus on Christ and value the thing that God values, what we value, he will cause to value us. See how many times the value was repeated in that sentence. That tells me expressively that God is intended and is intending that he has already decided to, pay, to place value in our lives. That in 2022, the value with which he will release upon your life as a family will be evidence for all to see. Amen. So come with me very quickly. He will lose the loins of kings to open before you two lead gates. Our founding archbishop says, when God says he has opened, he has set an open door before you, you know, he opened it and removed the hinges. Hello. <laughs> he set it open and then removed the what? The hinges. So it remains opened. And as our eyes are being opened, the more in this program, we'll be able to walk into the open door. So nothing, sincerely, oh, Father, help me tonight. Nothing has the capacity to stop your upsurge. Because there's already a two-leaved gate that is opened. He didn't stop there. He didn't stop there. What else did they say? He's opening the two-leaved gates right before us. And he said what? It shall not be so. I say under this unction from heaven that your upsurge will not, shall not, cannot be short. That, why will it not be short? Because it is God that has opened it. The only thing he's asking is that you come along with him. You come along with him. There's a prayer I pray. Lord, let this my ear I mean the spiritual one. Hear only your voice. This is the voice of God. That is what he has said for you and I and for our families. Because a family who is experiencing an upsurge builds a church that is already at the level of upsurge. Just imagine all of us. And it, it is very possible. We have a testimony of an upsurge. The rest place is already on top. And nothing can bring her down. Hallelujah. I've come to do prophetic words tonight. Tomorrow we'll be looking at uh, the theory of how you understand. But tonight, as I prayed for this meeting, what I'm doing is what he has asked me to do. And I pray someone is listening. I pray someone is taking that in and internalizing it. Because the upsurge that you and I desire is already in place. Pastor Terry gave a very beautiful illustration during our pastor seminar about a man who is begging, begging to be lifted up the stairs. Whereas he could actually climb the stairs. Because everything to climb the stairs has been delivered. I borrowed that your illustration, sir. Let it drive home my point. Hallelujah. Let's see what God is saying. This scripture is not new to you and I. And he says, I will go before thee. He had a reason. I am talking to fathers tonight as I speak to mothers. As I speak to children. As I speak to every member of the family. God says, it doesn't matter where you are at this point in time. I, God, I've decided to go before you. He has sent an Hobab back to our prayer point. He has sent an Hobab. And just in case you are wondering, he says, don't look at that human person. I myself am the one going before you. 
He didn't stop there. He said he wants to level the crooked places. You see, God knows where you are. God knows where you are. People of God, child of God, he knows where you are. Ever wondered how that he tapped Samuel and said, Samuel, rise up. There's a job for you to do. Go to the house of Jesse and anoint for me a king. Samuel was the human that God sent. Guess what? God already saw everything planned out. And he said, don't you do a thing unless I ask you to do it. So when Samuel got to Jesse's house, he was almost carried away. But because he knew better than to disobey God. <laughs> as soon as he saw Eliab, he said, yes, that must be the Lord's anointed. You see, the upsurge that God has prepared for you this year, we not spill over. We not go to someone else. It is yours. It is yours. It is yours. It is yours. It says, I will go before you to make the crooked places straight. And I will break in pieces the, bar, the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. God knows that the challenges will be there. But it says, Calm down. I love that little boy. <laughs> calm down. Help me tell someone beside you. Say, calm down. Say, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. God already saw the crooked places. He already saw the challenges. But he's saying to tell you tonight, I am ahead of you. Isn't that wonderful? I am ahead of your family. I am ahead of you. Because you are my anointed. You have my mark on you. Oh Lord, is someone listening tonight? Say, God is ahead of me. Say, Father, thank you because you are ahead of me. I am not afraid. I am ready to receive my upsurge. He says, I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches. They are hidden. Your human eyes cannot see them. Someone says, ideas rule the world. But who gives those ideas? I read the story of a man today. That so desired, he had a dream. He wanted to own his own holiday resort. But he didn't have the money. But God gave him an idea. He started flipping pancakes. He took a job as a cook and started flipping pancakes. It wasn't too long. He became the manager for flipping pancakes for people. He was a cook. He was doing pancakes. He became a manager. From being a manager, the owner of that company where they flipped the pancake became his partner. And as I speak to you, he owns a holiday resort in Hawaii, not in Ugojobo. <laughs> Hallelujah! Who gave him the idea of taking that job of a cook? I want to beg someone tonight. Do not despise the days of little beginnings. You know, the things of God and his ways are past finding out. Now, that was the story of a man I read. Let me tell you the one that I saw, like the local people will say, with my koro koro eye. This young man, a graduate, sought a job for a long time he didn't find. This is my own personal person. And so an opening came up at the U.S. Embassy. You won't even want to know what the opening was. It was to be a driver. So they told him, this one is for driver. This your certificate is not driver one. <laughs> so he put that one aside and used the usual certificates. I'm talking about ideas and knowing what to do. Because you see, 
<laughs> ah, that fish that had the gold coin would not probably have looked like it. Hello. So I'm trusting God as part of your dividend from this program that your ears will be opened to know when to move. Hey, to take you to where the upsurge is. To take you to the extent where you know that you know that you know. I pray that the Holy Spirit will be your driver in 2022. Then you will say and tell and testify at the end that truly there was an upsurge. This young man began to drive. And then the man he was driving was one of the executives in that place. So when one day an opening came and they got talking, you are a graduate? He said, yes, yeah. there's an opening. And he applied. As I speak to you, he's no longer a driver. He's now a guy supervising every other transporting thing in that company, in that, in that place. And this, the one way sweet me past me, this me I tell you now. He has been there long enough. By next year, he becomes a U.S. citizen. Ah, that your club, not sweet rich. Who does that? Help me tap somebody beside you. He said, listen for his voice. Don't judge a book by its cover. God says he will, he, will, he will show you the hidden treasures. It could be that thing that you are demeaning. <laughs> hey, oh God. Help us to listen for your voice. David went out and came back and saw that not only that his city has been conquered, Everything he had has been taken. If it was only his own, that would suffice. No problem. He can go inside and cry out his eyes. But all the men that went with him, why? He couldn't even lament over his own loss. Because the men said, well, you, you, it was you that took us. And that's how they came and captured all our belongings. Not just that. Our wives and our children. David, no. You can't survive this. But thank God for a man who knows to inquire. Tell somebody for me, you want an upsurge? Please inquire. And as the Lord gives instruction, follow it through. See you at the top. Hallelujah! David inquired of the Lord. That's not where, I just want to let you know where I'm going. And God says to pursue and overtake and recover all. But see where my point is coming from. I'm still talking in the area of allowing God to take the lead and being sensitive to the Holy Spirit to know what to do and how to do it. On his way to recovering, there was no how for David to know where and how. But guess what? He did not judge a book by its cover. David was so sensitive, he saw a wounded soldier. Who would have thought that that was the gateway? We're talking about hidden treasures. Thank God for grace in the house. Because many of us have ignored the hidden treasures. Because they didn't look like it. They did not look like it. That little proposal that they brought to your table didn't look like it. Have you inquired? Family, listen to me. David stopped for a while. Many times we are in a hurry. We have left our treasures on our pathways. He stopped. 
and took a little and closer look. Of course, you know the story more than I do. That was the man that led him to the place of victory. How I pray for you tonight, family, that you will not ignore the hidden treasure that the Holy Spirit has been nodding at you. The ideas, because you have listened to men, the ideas that God himself gave to you that you have trashed. And now the family is paying dearly for your decision. Tonight, there's a flip. Tonight, because that your upsurge cannot be denied you, God himself has come. He said, I am going before you. I pray that someone will follow his leading. Let's quickly wrap this up. Very, very quickly. So, David took care of that man. He recognized the hidden treasure. And the man said, I know where they are. <laughs> Did they recover? Did they, did they overtake? Did they, they pursued, right? He found the man. Did they overtake? Of course they did. Did they recover all? Yes, they did. And the upsurge in that city knew no bounds. Let somebody celebrate the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah! This is what God says. He says, that secret place, the, the hidden treasures he will reveal to you and I, and that you may know there's only one reason. When this upsurge comes, it is so we can acknowledge our Father. So when we know that He it is who has given us the power for this upsurge, and everyone we see it by the reason of our more commitment, by the reason of an expansion of God's kingdom, that you may know that you may know that I, the Lord, which called you by my name, am the God of Julie. Put your name there. I am the God of Julie. I am the God of Julie. I am the God of the rest place. I have called you by my name. The God with whom we have to do is the only one. There's no one beside him. And he has good plans for us. This year, through this increase that the upsurge is going to bring to us, people will come under our tree to find comfort. People will come into our family and they will label us by themselves. This is the lost portion. The lost portion is his people. If you forget anything I've told you tonight, please remember. That God is set to give you that upsurge. Because you are his anointed. Now he asks you, he asks you to remember that he has sent an hope to you and your family. He's asking you to remember that because you do not know where that hope is, he will bring them to you. He is saying to you, he has set up cyruses for you. No matter how comfortable you think you are at this time, there's a better place for you. He said he has sent cyruses. And when they begin to display his order in your life and in your family, they will not ask you for a reward. They will not say, well, you have to 50 me for this thing. No. You know why? Because the hand of God sent them. And he says they will not be comfortable until you are comforted. Then he will take you by the reason of the upsurge from that level where you think you're so comfortable. He will take you to a higher level. So you, rather than seeking a Cyrus, you become the Cyrus to the other person. And one by one by one by one, we all attain to that upsurge level that the Spirit of God has intended for us, sir. And then we bring in more souls into the kingdom and show them that this all such place is where we belong. The beauty of the all such is that we cannot go lower. You know why? Because underneath us are his everlasting arms. 
We can't go lower. Let somebody rise to their feet in thanksgiving to God tonight. We can't go lower. There is a place that God has put your family, put you as the anointed one in that family. And he says, beyond all that, when your matter comes before those who matters, the voice of your Gamaliel will be the loudest because you are anointed. Come out for increase. Does somebody want to say thank you to God tonight? Appreciate him for his kindness. Appreciate him for his goodness. Pray that the spirit of God as a leader will cause your ears to be sensitive. So to, to give us an upsurge is not, it's not a, a big deal for God. The important thing is, are you listening for that ideas? Are you listening for the voice that will take you to that, to that level of that upsurge? Are you listening? Pray tonight, church, in appreciation to God. Say, Father, open my eyes. Open my eyes. There will be not one single opportunity that I will miss. Because I'm going to let my spiritual antenna be so sensitive. Your voice will be loudest in my spirit. Because you have decided by yourself to come before me. You say you will go before me. You will go before us. As a family, you're going before us. You're going before us. Your mark is upon our lives to showcase your glory. Lord, like David, will be sensitive to know where the hidden ideas are. Be it far from us to ignore your promptings, Father, because you are set to do us good. Be it far from us to ignore your promptings. You are set to exceed our expectations. And to do beyond our asking. La mama ko jonde li ababa. Le mama ko jonde li baba ko zonte li ba. Li mama ko jonde li baba. The two leaf gates are open, church. The two leaf gates are open. Walk through it. God removed the hinges long time ago. Before the foundation of the earth. What it takes to keep the two leaf gates open uh, has been delivered to us uh, by the death and the burial and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, take your place, child of God. Take your place. Uh, your upsurge is not a big deal for God. Your increase is not a big deal for God. The increase for your family is not a big deal for God. The Bible says in Romans, if he could give us his only son, what does it take to give us an upsurge? What does it take to give us an increase? Le mako zondeli baba fomo koko shente keli baba mara baba ko zengeli baba koko senkeli baba mako shente keli baba li baba moku zondeli mako sonte keli aba ko zonde le mama koko shenkeli baba maka zengeli a mama ho shonte keli baba mori aba ko sonte kele ba ko we choose, Father, to listen for your voice. We choose, Father, to go after your promptings. We choose, Father, to be a lot as you open the hidden treasures. Liba koshante li baba. Melia baba koko shante keli baba. Maka senke li baba koko shanto. In quick succession, Father, you will cause our outside to be evident. Because your signature, your signature is upon our lives. While still in the mood of prayers, I want to ask Reverend Mrs. Iweze to please step forward. Marka Seli Boboko Shente Kiliba.
You started this meeting on Sunday. I needed to pray. Hallelujah. Father, Lord, we thank you. Just lift up your hands because there's an upsurge in the air. An upsurge in your finances. Lift up your hands. Father, we thank you. Thank you one more time, O oh Lord, because we know you have already caused the increase to come our way. Father, today, wherever our camellias are, wherever all the cypresses are, wherever the fish we need that carries our coins are, Father, we command them. We command them from every nook and crannies. We command them wherever they are. Father, Lord, by reason of your word that have been declared, we command them to come forth in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you because we are positioned to change levels. Our Lord, by the time we come to the end of this conference, Father, Lord, the, the gates that you have set open, we shall walk into them. I command you to walk into them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For all things are ready. Yes. All things are complete. Glory. All things are valuable. Glory. All things have been given out. Glory. Lord, we take delivery in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you because your world lives and abides forever. Glory. And this is the confidence we have. Now the world that lives and abides forever, oh Lord, shall continually cause up surging in our lives. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we are praying. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 God gave our lead pastor the idea for this conference. I want to ask him to come forward, please, Pastor Tari. He's going to pour his father's blessing upon the house. Following what we have heard tonight, God told you, God gave you that word, upsurge. Please pray for the church. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Lift your hands in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare the Lord goes before you. Crooked paths are made straight tonight. Because the Lord is going ahead of you. By the time you arrive, everything is ready. In the name of Jesus Christ. Healing over you. Healing in your minds. Healing in your homes. Healing in your families. Healing in your relationships. In the name of Jesus. You will hear a voice saying, this is the way. Walk ye therein. Your steps are ordered by the Lord. Your steps are ordered by the Lord. Where there is trouble, you will not be found. Where there are accidents, you will not be found. Where there is disappointment, you will not be found. In the name of Jesus, when you arrive, a table is prepared for you. In the presence of your enemies, in the presence of those who said you will never rise, a table is set before you. A table is set before someone tonight. A table is set before someone tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. When the Lord says he has prepared a table before you, it is a table for two. You and the Lord fellowshipping together. Fellowshipping together. Communicating. The Lord ordering your steps. Giving you ideas. Giving you visions, revelations, directions. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever you couldn't do before, supernatural ability, supernatural capacity, supernatural strength, in the name of Jesus Christ, suddenly there will be an increase, suddenly there will be a rising, suddenly there will be a lifting, in the name of Jesus Christ. Such that people will say, are you sure he's the same man that was blind by the gate? Are you sure? They will begin to argue about your identity because God is lifting you suddenly in the name of Jesus Christ. TRP family, give the Lord a shout of affirmation, a shout of confirmation tonight. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Jesus praise. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Amen. It's a good time to give somebody a high five or a knuckle and tell the person it is working. It is working. It is working. 
It is working. It is working. It is working. It is working. Glory to God. It's working. Hallelujah. Tonight, we have a few minutes. We will ask a few questions. Can we ask a few questions tonight? So, we will take questions. We'll just give... If you've been blessed tonight, I want you to make a loud noise in this house. 